Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a brief video on chemical and physical changes. Um, if you want to know whether something is a chemical change, you ask yourself simply, is a new substance being created, okay, or am I forming new bonds, okay, because if you're creating something new, bonds have to be broken, bonds have to be um, formed, all right, to create something new. Now, if we have ice, right, which is solid water, right, and it goes to liquid water, would you say that's a chemical or physical change? Now, we know from experience, right, that the formula for water is H2O, right? Okay, now when we go from solid ice to liquid water, okay, does the H2O change in any type of way? Do I create or make some other new substances? And the answer is no. They're all H2O in these cases. Likewise, if I go from liquid water to steam, which is a gas, okay, that steam also's formula is H2O. So there's no creation of new substances. There's no formation of new bonds. All I did was just change the form. So we just described these phase changes right here, all right? They're all physical changes. All right, so phase changes are physical. Now, if, for example, now, I took some electricity, right, and I zapped this H2O molecule, right, okay, and the H2O molecule separated into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, am I creating something new? Yes, the answer is yes. I'm creating new substances. I'm going from H2O to hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, when I supply electricity, that's called electrolysis, and, and when I break them apart like that, okay, we'll talk about that later on, but I'm creating something new, and that will be determined to be a chemical change. Now, all you guys are going to do right now is pause the video, right? And these guys over here, all right, these six cases, I just want to tell me if they're physical or chemical. Okay, the first case Let's say I'm breaking this rock right here. Okay, is that a physical chemical change? That would be a physical change, all right? If I have something burning in a fireplace, that would be a chemical change, right? Okay, because I'm creating new substances when I burn the substance, all right? I'm adding energy to create new bonds. Um, gases are being given off. I'm creating new things, all right? So that's chemical. Um, if someone's tearing paper, Okay, we should get that right. That should be simple. That should be simply a physical change. I'm changing the form of the paper, but I'm not creating anything new. All right? When I'm frying an egg, all right, we would expect that to be what? Actually, that would be chemical because in terms of the fried egg getting a new taste, it would have to undergo some type of chemical reaction with the yolk and the, um, the egg white to create that new taste so um some there's some type of bond change going on there all right um if someone's bending a piece of uh iron right here a metal okay that also would be a what change that would be a physical change because i'm bent when person's bending it they're not creating anything new they're not making any new bonds okay and uh it's physical and last one, if I started with a clear solution, right, and I did a chemical reaction, and I created new stuff, this yellow precipitate is new stuff, would you say that's a chemical or physical change? That would be a chemical change, because I'm making something new, the precipitate is new, it's new bonds being formed, I guess so that would be chemical. So that's it, folks. Um, review this topic, it's very simple. But understand and ask yourself, are you creating something new? And you go from there. All right. As always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. Take care. Be well.